It's agreed all round that the solution to London's transport problems lies in improvements to bus and train services. The dire state of the tube network was highlighted in a recent report by London transport engineers. They warned that decaying signals, stations and equipment pose a serious safety hazard, as well as making it impossible to run an efficient service. And it's just as bad on the roads. The average speed of the capital's buses at peak times is now an agonizing eight miles an hour. The point of London Transport's vision document is that solutions are easily possible. When it comes to the buses, the company believes enforcement of priority lanes would do the trick. The thing that works best is tow trucks. Else. If you get back there, you can look at all the bits of paper on the windscreen. It's not the same as getting back there and finding the car's gone. And that you've got to travel five miles across West London or East London to, to retrieve it, which is going to take two hours, a long journey. When you get there, it's going to cost 150 quid. That's the one that wins. As for the tube, London Transport says three new rail schemes could eliminate congestion. The first is Crossrail, a line which would carry a quarter of a million people between Heathrow and the city in just half an hour. The second is a new tube line running from southwest to northeast, which it's thought would persuade thousands to travel by rail instead of road. Finally, Thameslink 2000 should improve and expand existing services between North and South London. Whether the full raft of proposals has any chance of becoming reality depends not on London transport but on the politicians who hold the purse strings. So part at least of the idea behind this very public launch is the intention to put pressure on politicians just a fortnight before London Transport's new budget is announced. Paul Lewis, Channel One, Victoria.